Uh, Beetlejuice is dressed in a Don King wig today. <laughs> We're calling him Beetle King because uh, he's out promoting a, a boxing match, an amateur boxing oh. match, at Bayonne High School this Friday in Bayonne, New Jersey. Uh, tickets are available at the door. A beat in town. Always good to see Beat. He's here to gloat that he's still alive and Eric isn't. Uh, looking healthier than he's ever looked. Look at you. Hey, B. What do you say, man? Good seeing you, buddy. He's the best. How are you, pal? I'm doing pretty good. Long time no see. How's Georgia? Oh, Georgia's doing okay. Yeah, Beetle living in Georgia now. He's no longer a local New That's York guy. That's why we don't see him as much. Yeah, Beat, uh, <laughs> Beat of course, uh, you outlived Eric the actor, didn't you? Oh, I was out there, but, you know, I seen him a couple of times. Did you meet Eric the actor? Did you ever have occasion uh, to meet him? No, I, I met him out there, but I didn't see him that much. Right. Uh, you know, listen, a, a guy dies when he's uh, that young, uh, it's sad, but like you said, in a sense, you paved the way for Eric the actor, didn't you? Well, I didn't pay him. Somebody else paid him. No, I know that. But I'm saying because you the were on the show. The reason there's a whack pack. Yeah. The re I mean, you, if it wasn't for you, there'd be right. no Eric the Actor. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you want to say a few words about Eric the Actor? Or? Um, well, I feel sorry, but, I mean, but, you know, he died for nothing, but, you know. Right. He died for I, nothing? He yeah, died well, for nothing because I wasn't even around when he died. So you know, right. yeah, you didn't go to the no. funeral, did you? Nah, no. somebody else went. Someone, one of your people? Uh, I guess his family went. Hey, speaking of people, uh, beat. I know you're here to promote boxing, and mm -hmm. I'll talk to you about boxing. You look, he's even dressed like a boxing promoter. Yeah, he's prom right. he's dressed like uh, Don King in a way, right? Was he <laughs> one of your? Was he one of the guys you emulate? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you copied Don King a little bit, right? He's someone right, you look up right. to. Yeah. How long have you been managing boxers? I know it's been going uh, on for a about while. About two or three weeks. Yeah, and I don't think people know <laughs> that you right. will stand in the ring with the boxer and actually right. tell him what to do during the match, right? Well, While he's fighting. Well, yeah. he, well, he doesn't fight on his own, you know. Of course. I walk behind him, but I'll be right there on the side of him. Well, you what know? do you say to these guys before they go into battle? I mean, it could be their lives at stake. Well... Do you say anything uh, in particular? Well, I just say, you know... Keep your hey, left up. Keep, keep your, your only thing you have to do is keep your left up or keep your right hand up. That's uh -huh. all. Either one. <laughs> or both. Or both. That's or right. Or both of them, you know. Yeah. Are you concerned about the high rate of brain damage in boxing? Mm, it could happen. Yeah. You know, Beat, I know for a long time you lived with your longtime manager, uh, Sean. Right. Uh, Sean is no longer around, but Bobby, uh, Sean's brother, now manages you. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. I was yes, wondering. Sir. I was wondering what it's like uh, now that you're not live. You used to live in Sean's house. Right. But now you live at home with your mom and your sister. Right. 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 How's that going? I mean, that's oh, a big change in life. Pretty good now. We're doing pretty good now. Can you get pussy and stuff, but you can't bring it back. You can't bring oh, girls back. Oh, I can't here. bring it back there. No, <laughs> no, 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 sir. No, sir. But are you going on dates? Are you? Uh, well. I just hang around, you know. I just hang out with them. Yeah. No girlfriends? No, I just hang out with them, drink with them all the time. You used to get laid a yeah. lot when uh, Sean was alive. I know that. Right. Yeah, not so much now. No, not too much, though. So. When you were getting, I mean, you got a tremendous amount of pussy in your life. Did you wear a condom? Um, yeah. Uh, most times? Most yeah. times. Right. When's the last time you got laid? Oh, I don't remember. But, like that long? Uh, huh? Well, it was that too long. Too long? Too long. Wow, yeah. boy, what a change in a way. Have you gotten religion? Are you now yeah. religion? You yeah. have? Yeah. What religion are you? What religion uh, are you? Well, I was religion, but I don't know about that. You believe but, in God is what you hear. Yeah, I, you just, do. I believe in God, so, you know, I go to church every day. So you Do know. you really? Every day. I had yeah. no idea. But you wake up. What's your routine? You wake up, you eat breakfast, right? Uh, I eat breakfast before I go, you know. And then you then, go right to church. Right to church. Wow. I had no idea you were that religious. Yeah. And what do you say to God? Do you ever say to him, God, well, what is the reason we're here? Yeah. And what yeah. does he say? Well, God speaks. He don't say anything, but he, yeah. you know, I just say, 
God bless you or whatever. Right. Well, you good for you. Me? Good for you. Can you can you give us a prayer right now? Do you pray? <laughs> nah, I'm not a preacher, honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I Do you ever sing uh, the hymns or oh, anything like nah. that? Nah. Nothing. You just sit uh, there quietly minding your own business. Because well, you're I just fa- sit there, you know, I put the money in the co-plates and stuff, you know what I mean? What is the proper amount of money to give as a donation to the church when they pass the plate? Well... That's for the blessings, for the, for the money, you know. Yeah. That's what they do, you and know. And what kind of money do you give? Well, you get, like, change or something. Whatever you, you have in your pocket. You plate, so you right. know, a dollar. Dollar here, dollar there, and that's how the church the, is, uh, is, exists. Yeah, here. that's how for the first up the church, right. you know. Right, I thought you, you know. were Jewish. You ever wear towels? When did he start going to church? Yeah. 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 I went to church and church. I was a little kid. You're not, you have really? you, Were you bar mitzvahed? Uh, nah, this no. was, like... Early church or something, All right. you know, like Good enough. different. Uh, you know, Beat, uh, it's so curious. Uh, I wanted to talk to your manager and find out. It must be complicated to hire you for a gig now because you live down in Georgia. In order for you to come up to New York, it's probably a whole big deal, right? Well, it's a big deal, but it's possible. Where, hey, hey, Gary, ask uh, ask Bobby to come in. I want to find out about Beat's business and, and uh, how he handles business these days. Beat, you're not you're, you're semi-retired, I guess, right? Yeah. 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 I'm retired. Yeah. 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 Well, wow. Yeah. I never thought Beta would retire. Well, he's not retired. He's semi-retired. Like, he'll work, and then he won't work for a while, right? Uh-huh. I'll work for a little while, then, you know. Bobby, how you doing, man? I don't do too much. Yeah. I, 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 how is Beetlejuice's uh, business conducted? Now, he lives down in Georgia, but you're his manager. Are you his manager? Yeah, I'm his manager. Now, how long have you been managing him now? Uh, about six years. Six years. Yeah. Is it a joy still, or is it hard? Oh, it, it's, it, it's a joy. It's a joy. Yeah. You love Beat. Love him. Yeah. Love him. And Beat, uh, I'm just, I'm not prying, but I want to know now, when, when Beat gets contacted for a job, Bobby, uh, how do you guys decide whether it's worth flying him up to New York or not? Uh, I guess it, it just depends on what it's for. If it's something big enough to, to, you know, be worth it to make all those travel arrangements, yeah, then we'll do it. Uh, as far as private parties and stuff, we're really not doing anymore. Wow. Private party business over, huh, Beat? Yeah, that's over, so, you Do you know. miss it? Well, I don't do it much, but, you know, I do it once in a while, but I don't do it too much. Mm-hmm. Hey, Beat, at this point, do you have any teeth left in your head? Let me uh, see. You got a, oh, you got a couple. I Is got it a couple, difficult yeah. to eat? No, it's not a couple to eat, but, you know, yeah. it's not that hard. So. Not that hard, right? Nah. What do you like to eat? Spaghetti? Uh, Soft no. foods? Oh, I eat anything, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's your favorite food? Do you still eat chicken? And well, I eat chicken once a week, but now all yeah. the time. Right. once a week, limited, because you know, that in order to be healthy, you got to vary your diet. Yeah, you're but smart that way. Because if you eat, you just have to stay on a diet. You don't know. What about the gym? You still going to the gym? <laughs> well, I go to gym once in a while. Uh, how often do you go? What's your routine? Uh, I don't do nothing, but I just just sit there, you know, yeah, you know, you, chill out with the kids. You're you in know? great shape, don't you? I mean, do you work out? Do you bench and everything? Uh, I bench once in a while. Yeah, not a lot anymore. Boy, he's really uh, he's really changed a lot. He yeah, used to he work out weight. a lot. He did lose weight. He lost some weight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, Eric, the actor, had health problems. Do you have any health problems? Me? Nah. Healthy as a horse. Well, well, I'm really healthy, so you know. Yeah. And no medication, it? Beetle? Huh? No, I don't take, take my medication once a year. Once, once a year. Once a year. Yeah. 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 Once a year or once a month. <laughs> The medication yeah. once a once a month I take my ba- medication. All once right. Month. Is yeah. his beat on a lot of medication? Yeah, he's diabetic. Oh, you are diabetic. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yes, well, oh, that's why I take the pills just to make sure. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, just oh. to keep just to keep everything going a different way, you know. Well, well, well that I, must be complicated. Yeah, yeah, just to keep me healthy. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, God, God, for, listen, I do not want to lose you because I just lost Eric. And you know I loved Eric, right? You right, know that. Right. You know that. I got to make sure you stay alive. Oh, I always stay alive. Always. Yeah, yeah. So you go to the doctor for regular checkups. Yeah, I, I heard you still I smoking though. I heard well, you still well, smoking. Well, I smoke once in a while, but not too much. Though. I heard you smoke a pack a day. Well, I don't smoke a pack a day. I only do it once a week. Once I don't a, do it too week. much. Yeah. Is that true? Is he really cut down on the smoking? Yeah, about two and a half packs a day. I two say. and a half packs a day. Two and a half. Two and a half packs a day. Yeah, wow. I don't do mu- I don't do it too much though. Nah, I do it once in a while. That's a beat. Beat. That's a lot of cigarettes. It could kill you. 
I mean, well, I know you're a religious man, but do you believe that you're going to go to heaven? Do you believe oh, in a heaven? I believe in God, but I can take a whole mouth. I stay a whole it. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm I'll saying? find a way, man. All right, man. Find that way. Uh, what's your version of God? When you go to the pearly gates, when you die and you go to heaven, what do you see? Mm, I'll probably see Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, you think Jesus is white or black? Uh, he's probably white. Probably. It's always probably. worked that way. Yeah, probably, but who knows? <laughs> who never knows? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think God or Jesus will say to you when you die, Be well, you had too much pussy, i got to send you straight to hell? Or well, will he say, okay, job well done? <laughs> hey, that's how it goes. That's how it is. Right, good for you, my friend. That's it. Can't worry about it now. You can't worry about it, so you got to think for yourself. <laughs> what do you, well, let me ask you quickly about World Affairs, and I want to get to Bobby about your routine and uh, also promote the fact that you are going to be at Amateur Boxing Match at uh, Bayonne. Uh, by the way, tell me about that real quick, beat. What do you mean, Amateur Boxing Watch? How many, how many matches will we see in Bayonne? Um, probably... Two or three guys. They always come in in the, in the daytime. So they if they come in, they come in. Good. They, they do their training. They they get in the ring by themselves. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you'll you'll be there. You'll manage some of the the, the boxing guys and, and give them. Oh, the... I'll be I'll be on the side. And they be in the, in the ring right. watching. You, you know, will like, you box at all? Me? Nah. No. You're nah. strictly You're the giving manager. up boxing. Yeah. 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 Good. Thank God. I mean, I was worried about you when you used to box. You never had a no <laughs> you knocked everyone out though, right? You never, you were never knocked out in the ring. Nah, never. You were undefeated. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't, I can't even tell you how many matches he had, but I know you used to do dwarfy boxing, right? Yeah. 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 Beat uh, on the international scene. This ISIS threat, the latest war we're in with these guys. Any thoughts? Mm, I don't get involved in nothing, so you know. You don't that's read the, the paper. That's on them, you know. Right. I don't. I don't get involved in nothing. That's on them. Bobby, your manager. Bobby, your manager. Beat, if you don't mind. Uh, what is the Beetlejuice routine? So he lives in Georgia. Let's say he gets called, like he's going to be in Bayonne to 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 be part of this amateur boxing match. Uh, now to get him out of Georgia, he just can't hop on a plane, right? No. What's the routine for you to How get Beetle? How do you Beetle? get him out of it? Because yeah. Beetle is such a star, I don't even know what happened. In Georgia, do people bother you, ask you for autographs and stuff? Oh, uh, no, not all the time, but once in a while. Right, right. Once uh, in a while. Not the pandemonium we see here in New York when you enter uh, New York. More fans are in New York. Yes, yeah, something right. like Right, here that. you sign more autographs. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of them. Right. Uh, so, Bobby, what happens? You get a call for some Beetlejuice business, and then what, you call his mom? Yes. And then she says, okay, come get Beetlejuice. Right. And what happens? You, you you have to fly down there yourself and get them? Sometimes, yeah. This time what I did was I sent someone in a car to his house. Take him. He lives a couple hours from the airport in Atlanta. Right. Picked him up at his house, drove him to the airport in Atlanta, put him on the plane, and then I had someone meet him at the gate. Now, now he goes on the plane himself? Yeah, he flies by himself. No shit. Someone, someone on either end bringing him to the gate. Pete, when you're Do on you a plane, have the stewardesses watch him? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. The stewardess will be there, but I walk right behind her and I'm on the plane. The stewardess will be there, and if you right. have a question or a difficulty, she'll right. give you an assist. Right. Right. Now, now what, do you, what kinds of things do you have the stewardess help you with? Well, she just, I'll, I'll bring my bag, because the other bag I got, you know. Yeah. Right. You have to put that on on the bottom of the plane. Right. You can't carry right. that on with you. You only take right. small luggage with you. Right, right. Yeah, yes, yes. And how many and, and how many pieces of luggage does uh, how many pieces of luggage no, does Beat bring? No, I only got about two. He got a, a carry on and a, and a carry on and a and a what a, 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 a bag big, underneath. You know, a suitcase. And what's he got in this suitcase? I mean, a lot of clothes, <laughs> a lot of changes. Well, yeah, it's true. <laughs> You're making that's a lot of clothes. <laughs> right. And, <laughs> and and then what does he stay at your place, Bobby? Yeah, he's staying with me. Boy, I'd love to shoot a documentary of that. <laughs> and so, uh, Beat, when you're on the plane, let's say you got to take a dump or something. Do you ever take a shit in the in the plane, like in, on, in the air? And, you know, they got a toilet in there. Well, I don't. Well, a lot of people are using it, so yes. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even get off the plane, so I just. You sit I just there. wait till everybody else gets off. <laughs> well, what do you do when you have to go to the bathroom on the plane? Well, they got a bathroom before you get off the plane. Ah, so before you board, you take a dump, and then you're emptied out for the flight. Yeah, yeah, before yeah. that. Yeah. Right. What if you can't take a shit and you have to shit on the plane? Do you go well, in the toilet and shit? Mm, no, I don't know. Probably they they the one dollars it, but yeah. I don't. 
I don't walk back and forth, but I'll be sitting in my seat. So, and do they you know? serve you a meal, or is it too short a flight? Oh, they serve like soda, like soda or something. Soda along those lines, yeah. Okay, so then, Bobby, what happens? You meet him at the airport when he gets off? Yeah. And then, and then, uh, are the stewardesses traumatized? I mean, is it like crazy? Like, do they, are they like, oh my god? I mean, lots of. Do they have any problems with him on the well, plane? They usually tell me yeah, that he lit a cigarette. <laughs> oh no, no, I didn't do that. Yes, I didn't have a cigarette. Dominic had the cigarette. He supposed to get on the plane before himself. That was five years. I'm talking about Saturday night. Oh, no. That's Saturday night. He did that on his own. All right. Yeah, but Saturday night you weren't on a plane with Dominic, was he? No. 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 He was by himself. He was yeah, by himself. Yeah, he went in the bathroom by himself. And beat lit a no, cigarette. No, you he beat a cigarette. No, Dominic he wasn't did. there. You were you were there. Well, I wasn't there. I no. was just standing in my seat. I well, was way in the back. Now the stewardess he, the stewardess gives you a report on what goes on on right. the plane, and she said, "Look, he lit a cigarette." She said he lit a cigarette. I didn't they lit no cigarette. Told him cigarette. to put it out. Yeah, and, and then, did he put it he out? Said or he's old enough to smoke. Right. Well, I oh, didn't. Yeah. I didn't have the cigarette. <laughs> I didn't have no pack of cigarettes in my pocket. Well, All the ones that had cigarettes is Dominic. I, but Dominic wasn't there. Well, Dominic was the only one that had a pack of cigarettes in his yeah, hand. Dominic is. You're not representing Dominic anymore. Anymore, right? I do. Oh, you do. Dominic had nothing to do with that. No, I don't want nothing to do with that one, though. <laughs> Does B blame everything on Dominic? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> B. Even if he's not there. Yeah, right. Well, listen, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever goes. Uh, so when the stewardess says this to you, is she saying, hey, he can't fly anymore? Because that's a very big uh, regulation. Well, I think, yeah, but I think she understood who he was. Right. He's a star, and he's he can get star. away with that kind yeah. of behavior. <laughs> and you he know, told B. her he was a star, so. Did you tell the stewardess? Did you explain that you yeah, are a star? I explained to her. I didn't do anything. You know, she Smart. thought I did it, and I didn't do anything. I said, well, she said I, you wasn't were holding... I wasn't even sitting in those. She right? said... I was just, just sitting in my seat. She said you were holding the cigarette, so... Uh, I know. wasn't holding no cigarette. Mm, well, uh, I smart. would never hold no cigarette. You know, never. in a way, I always say, deny, deny, deny. You know what I mean? Right, even right. if they catch it. Right. <laughs> well, uh, and did you have enough leg room on... I, of course. I, yeah, yeah, you had leg room. You had leg room, it's nice. Yeah. Now, do you sit next? Does he sit next to anybody? Or would, do people generally avoid sitting next to a superstar <laughs> like Beetlejuice? Oh, Bobby, just, what goes on? Just well, there. I've been on planes with him plenty of times. Right. And and when he when there is someone sitting next to us, they usually request to be moved. Right. <laughs> I've seen them sneeze in people's food. Oh, uh, be fall, uh, fall asleep I would, I would, on people's never, shoulders. I would never do that. No, I know Dominic. Be oh, Do Dominic's the worst man. Yeah. He, 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 he shits on people's food. <laughs> he sneeze on them. But what do you Bad. mean? Be, be, in other words, if Beat is next to someone, suddenly, like the monsters, they, you, you hear commotion and then they go. You they're see gone. them get up. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Beat usually has a nice empty seat next to Yeah, him. we usually get right. plenty of room yeah. for, for carry-ons. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I said I have my own seat and I don't even bother nobody. Right. I mean, sit right there. So some people have sat next to B and you say he'll accidentally sneeze on their food. Some of them stick it out, yeah, right. and they pass. <laughs> hey, I say I'll pass. Hey, that's all you. Uh, now, what does he generally do on the plane? Does he ever watch a movie or does he read? Or? He does. He sleeps. He sleeps yeah. a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ronnie the limo driver does that. Sleep apnea, so when he doesn't have his machine, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a like a broken dishwasher. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know that's so masculine, B. To have a masculine snore is right. what uh, uh, Bobby reveals to us. That sometimes yeah. you fall asleep on the plane, and the, and the customer, the other customers, the people flying in the plane, will well, complain because you well, have a loud snore. Some people do it. Some people don't. Right. Some people wake up and then like in the afternoon or something. Right. I don't. I don't want to sleep, but I just I take my time. But I wait till when I get off. And sometimes B. That's it. I know it's difficult for you because of your your. your stature that that sometimes like these these stewardess drivers say, oh he's a little boy you know little boy you're a man i mean do you tell them that do you say listen oh, man yeah, i yeah. tell them a couple of times right. i always tell them you're old enough to smoke they think you're not but, but I, I don't smoke i'm nothing on the plane right I, I would never do that right never. Uh -huh. have you ever forgotten that you're on the plane beetle no. and then yeah but i'm in the back up. seat but i wasn't even i wasn't even back there i was just sitting there bobby has there ever come a time with beetle I, I don't do things like that no more. let's say someone gets I on the plane and, they, and they're sitting never. next to beat does anybody ever jump out of the plane like they, they ever just <laughs> try to <laughs> yeah. maybe somebody 
did. I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever had Somebody. sex in a plane? Nah. Never. Never. Oh, Never you changed a lot. Not a member of the Mile High Club. I remember the day when you would go crazy and something like that and have sex with multiple women on a plane, right? Well, mm -hmm. no, I no. would never do that. No, no, not, not in front of people. No, I wouldn't. He never jerked do off that. on a plane in the bathroom. Oh, You're kidding no, me. No, oh, no, me. No, not me. What was that about, uh, Bobby? Not Explain me. Explain to us we, what happened. I we would never Vegas. do nothing like that. What, never. what happened, Bobby? We, we went to Vegas. He was in the bathroom for about a half hour. Right. Oh, it wasn't and I'm me. I'm hanging on the door. Yeah, remember? It, it wasn't me, though. I Who wasn't was even. I was, I was in an. I Might was have been on Dominic. the bed. I was on the bed sitting there watching well, TV right. in the plane. Right, you so know you, it was me. You went in the bathroom by no, yourself. No, I wouldn't take a piss, but I came back out. Right. What he, went, he went in the bathroom by himself. <laughs> yeah. I came back Dominic's out. Dominic's was jerking off. Oh, it wasn't me. Wait, wait, anyway, yeah. how do you know it you were jerking off? It wasn't he me. told you. Yeah. I don't know. I, it wasn't me, but when I came out well, the bathroom, did he come, I took a he said he and jerked, I came I said, back what, out. Did he come all over the seat or anything? I don't know. I, I, said, know. I said, what were you doing in there, jerking off? He said, yeah, by accident. <laughs> he jerked off by accident. It wasn't me, though, but it was the lady. She came through my room, butt naked. <laughs> Beetle, do you ever jerk off, though? I mean, you do. You're a man. Uh, I would never do that. You never. don't jerk off at all because uh, of your religion? Yep. I wow. would never do that. Wow. But what, what woman came to your room butt naked? Oh, this was like... Like two or three days ago, something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, uh, that's an amazing story. You ever think, Bobby, you'd write a book about Beetle and some of his exploits? Because, uh, I mean, I would read that. I mean, it must That'd be... That'd make a nice children's book. Yeah, it must be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be exhausting your job, in a sense, you know, because Beetle is a superstar. He is a big star. I mean, maintaining his career and, and, and maintaining him must be a big, big uh, burden, yeah? Yeah, if anyone from Disney's listening, yeah, we'd love to do a Beetlejuice book, a book, a kids book, kids book. How, just following the adventures of yeah. Beetlejuice. There's not many people like Beetlejuice left in the world, right? No. I don't think there's ever been one period. Right. I mean, with, with his particular thing. I mean, a lot of women don't have uh, children anymore with this kind of thing, right? Right. 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 Uh, Beat. You know, it's amazing career. So many people have come and gone in this business. You still are popular with audiences. Oh, yeah, I still do, but I still hang out with them. Well, most of them be out there. Yeah. Good for you. And uh, now, 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 Bobby, so you get them to your house. You get me to your house off the plane. And then begins, I guess you have a family and a wife, right? And right. kids? Three kids. Yeah. Do the kids get along with Beat? Is there a problem at all? No. You know, my, my eight, we, like I said, we haven't seen them in about eight months, ten months. Right. Do you miss no. them, or, or well, is it nice to have the break? No, I miss them. You miss them. I miss them, yeah. Yeah. But I have an eight-year-old. And I, the last time Beetle was here, Beetle was taller than the eight-year-old. Right. So my eight-year-old stood next to him, and he looked at him. He said, Dad, Beetle shrunk. Right. <laughs> because he, he didn't realize he yeah. grew. <laughs> yeah. And that's something, Beetle? That's a great story. And you get along with the kids over at uh, Bobby's house? Yeah, I yeah. get along with them. Now, what's yeah. the deal? Does Beetle get his own room in your house, or where yeah, do you he, put him? He has his own Closet? Room. What do you do with him? He has his oh, own bedroom it. in the basement. Yo, you got your own place there. Yeah. Just, Do you like it, or is it a little kind of depressing being in the basement? I like it, but uh, you just keep, you know, you just watch, you can watch TV all day long right. in the basement, so. Is that what goes on in I the basement? I don't bother nobody yeah. when he's sleeping, so. He sits down, <laughs> did you bring his meals downstairs, or do you? No, he only goes down I, there I, sleep. I eat upstairs, oh, so. oh, You eat upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and does he have any particular needs? Do you have to make special foods for Beetle when he stays at your house? Um, yeah, he usually throws away about 90% of whatever you give him to eat. Right. Oh, uh, I would never throw it away, but, you know. Dominic well, throws away. Dominic throws a lot of right. stuff away. Yeah, Dominic, yeah. Does Dominic live at the house, too? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Dominic's like an alter ego. Yeah, you don't like Dominic much, do you, B? Oh, well, I don't like it too much, but right. sometimes he does do it. He do throw food away by himself. And, and so you put, him, you put him down in the basement, and then he stays down there for sleeping, and then what time does Beetlejuice come up out of the basement in the morning? If you don't go and get him, I would, he's, he gets up pretty early, maybe 8. Eight o'clock. What do you do with him at eight o'clock in the morning? We just well, he's just back now, so I see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Today I had to wake him up. You had to wake him yeah. for the show. Yeah, right, right. yeah. But I appreciate you getting up early, beat. You know, that. I always get up early. Yeah, you understand. Always. You know, at least you get word out about the boxing match and stuff. It's a promotion. Oh, I get up a little early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he? Is he cranky when you wake him, or you understand? <laughs> no, no, I'm not fine. cranky. No, I just wake up when he say, "Hey, Peter, why don't you come on up? Right, come on, get up." <laughs> 
Right. I'll and, be up. Look, by the time he gets up, and, I'm already up. And does and does uh, uh, Bobby's wife make you breakfast, or does Bobby uh, make breakfast? Who does it? She buys the breakfast and stuff. But who makes the I, breakfast? You does he eat with the kids? What what goes on over there? Bobby? I usually take him to breakfast. Yesterday, my go? son took him. Yeah. To the diner, just. We had breakfast this morning. Me and your me and your son today. Yeah. Yeah. We had breakfast Yesterday. Today. Yesterday. Yeah. What'd you have? What does he eat? What'd you have? You and Kyle? Uh, I think I had like. I guess I had like a sausage sandwich or something. That's where we a had. What? And then <laughs> a sausage sandwich. Yeah. Sausage sandwich. That's did what he, I had. You did? Yeah, he did. Did yeah. he really have that? Oh, he, he, really. he, he ate waffles. He brought it home. He ate the waffles. Who did? I ate the um, oh. The sausage. Is any of that accurate, Bobby? I don't know what they had. <laughs> oh, I see. And uh, <laughs> I never know. I'm always fascinated what Beat does all day. I th you know, when he's at your house typically and you don't have, let's say you have a free day like yesterday, he wakes up at 8 o'clock, you take him out for a meal, and then what? What do you do all day? It's just, I work all day. Oh, I see. So you, so who's in charge of him? He's, I leave him at my friend's office. Oh, you leave you, oh, you, really? you stick him in the yeah. office, and then what? And what does your friend do that he can <laughs> be with Beetle all day? He lets Beetle interview people, and he, yeah. you know, Beetle's the boss. Beetle, you run that whole operation for the day at Money Man. Well, yeah, I run with Money Man myself. You know, I yeah. sit there, he do the thing, I do mine. All right, so, what is you your know? thing exactly? Oh. Just doing it. I just trying to help him out, mm. you know. All right. I can't imagine if I had like if you left Beetle at my house all day, what would I do with him? You know what I mean? <laughs> you take him I to somebody's reads. office and leave him. Yeah, back. I would. I think I would. I'd be like, I work too. I mean, I don't have any time for that. You know. Uh, you know, hey, by the way, the voting on HowardStern.com, I don't know if you're aware of this. We're trying to determine who is the greatest guest of all time. Is it Beetlejuice? Is it Eric the Actor? Or was it Hank the Dwarf? Remember Hank the Dwarf? You knew him. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, Years yeah. ago. He died a long time yeah, ago. Yeah. Well, right now, Eric has 35% of the votes. Beetle has 34%, and Hank has 31%. Oh, the voting is so this close. close. Beat, oh. you're in second place. Why should people vote for you? Because I'm a nice guy. That's right. Why. That's true. It's true. So then, and then at some point in the day, Bobby, when you're, do you call and find out if your friend needs help with Beetlejuice or anything well, that, like that? That's not every day. Some days he'll stay at my house and wait for me. Those are the days when I come home. Yeah. My dog is six blocks away. Uh, <laughs> he left the door open. Right. Oh, no. I would never leave the door open. No, no, not what? Dominic. I'm talking about Oh, Dominic. yeah, he leaves the door open and then he goes out, <laughs> out of the garage. Dominic, who's not even there, doesn't he? Right, right. No, right. he don't come there not often, right. but no, once no. in a while he does. Though. Where he starts a fire in the fireplace. Uh, uh, oh, what? Really? Beat started a fire in the fireplace? Yeah. No, no, I don't. I don't. I don't do fires. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you make a fire? I don't do things like it's that. It's summertime. I mean, do you really need a? a uh, how does he do that? What does he do? He just like he goes just, out, gets I, logs, and, and no, uh, well, there's logs there, and he just he lights it with his lighter. It. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, Beat, you can't do that. No, I would never do nothing like that. Maybe never. it was Dominic. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Dominic do it, but now, I the, know what he does. If the door is open, you don't let your dog out of the no, house. No. So so what do you do? You have to go down there and no. then you have to go search for the dog. Search for the dog or a neighbor will bring the dog home like 12 hours later. Right. Oh, my God. So it wreaks havoc on your life, doesn't it? A little bit. Yeah. And then when you go home, do you put him to bed, or does he just go to bed when he wants he to? He stays up. He stays up. Yeah, he stays, he up. stays up and hangs out, and then you go downstairs and you go to sleep. I think and he then... reads. He's reading novels and things like this. Oh, yeah? You do? I read a couple of stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Well, I tell you, it's really <laughs> what, something. What are you reading now? <laughs> no, what book are you reading? Uh, I don't know. Moby Dick? I don't know. I don't. Yeah. Know. I don't read none of that stuff. Right, Great he, can read, he can read upside down. He Books can? usually upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Beat, you know, uh, it's a fascinating life. I, I don't know. Now, Bobby, how long will Beat be with you now for this visit? He'll be here for about two to three weeks. Two to three weeks? Oh. He has that much work ahead of him? Yeah, well, we don't know. Just, you know. Just to hang. Just to hang out. He'll be available for, for some stuff if anyone's interested. All right. So you'll see what comes your way. You're not overbooking yourself. That's good. He's been offered some cuckolding work. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Really? What, did you, tell me the kinds of offers Beat has been getting these it's days. It's like cuckold. Uh, video? Porn video? Yeah. Yeah? So you turned that down for a <laughs> yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not doing porn, right? Nah, I don't do none of that stuff. What would they, Dominic what, does they, who, When they call you up, <laughs> Dominic probably does, right? <laughs> when they pitch a, a Beetlejuice film like this, what is it they say he'd be doing? I, if, explain to the cuckolding plot, if you will. That he would go over and have relations with someone's wife. Wow. <laughs> While the Be, husband you, watches. You, you got to admit, that's intriguing. Imagine you, they're filming a movie. You're totally nude. Woman walks in. The husband sits on the couch, and you fuck his wife right in front of him. Uh, 
could be possible, but exactly. I don't know about that. Yeah, so. uh, you don't beat with dirt. I, I didn't sit there. I don't. I don't say a word. <laughs> what kind of man would want another man fucking his wife? I mean, it's crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, but yeah, people want to see this um, kind of thing. How much money was offered to do this I don't kind of know film? About that. We didn't even get that far. You didn't. You yeah, said, "Look, we sir, I'm not interested in this." Yeah, it's true. I mean, you have a responsibility right. to keep Beatles' career going. I think porn would be a, a negative turn there. Right. Um, He's got a clean. Uh, Reputation. I don't want to tarnish right. it. So if people want to work with Beetle. What do they do? They get in touch with you. Yeah. And you've got a business number. What right. is that number? Well, all the information's on JollyDwarf.com. Right. JollyDwarf.com is where you conduct all your business, Beat. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Well, Robin, it is a fantastic look into the life of Beetlejuice. Always fascinating. That's right. You know, B, you've done it all. Uh, you talk about this guy, Dominic, getting you in trouble. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, yeah. he, he, you got accused of You're smoking. an angel, and Dominic sounds like the devil. Yeah, it sounds like Dominic. Remember when Do I'll never forget this. This guy, Dominic, came in my studio with Beetlejuice, and he shit in Beetlejuice's pants. Remember oh. when he did that? <laughs> he, <laughs> he, 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 he shit, shit in, in my pants, yeah. but I didn't... I said, no, I don't, I don't shit in nobody else's pants. Right. But, you know, he did it on his own, and I say, hey... That's your that's your shit in pants, not yeah, mine. Yeah, we found a shit in, in uh, Beetlejuice's pants, and I was like, "Beat, what's this?" And he goes, "Dominic shit in my pants," and I was so upset that he would do that. You know that, that Dominic that did that. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Make a statement to Dominic now about shitting in your pants. It's disgusting. Man. It's disgusting, right? Thank you for saying that, by the way. Uh, by the way, uh, Beat, I'm going to ask you to talk about something. I know it upset you. Benji on our show mm. got fingered in his asshole by Perez Hilton. And I know you know about it. You track what goes on on the show. Well, I heard all about it on the news, you know. Right. I, I heard all about it, so I, I don't want to know nothing about it. Uh, but, B, you Benji know. is here. What do you say to a man who got fingered in his asshole? Well, I don't know. A lot of people just telling me, oh, the guy got a finger in the ass. Oh, I Would you don't ever know. do anything? I, said, I don't know nothing. I don't want to know nothing. Would you ever <laughs> let a man put a finger in your ass? Hell no. Hell no. Not even a woman, right? Nope. No. Is it gay? Well, people want it's gay, yeah. yeah. They probably do it, but I don't. Yeah. Wait. Benji, uh, Beetlejuice <laughs> has said it all, and I've said the same thing Beetle said. Uh, it's pretty Beetle, do you know who did it, though? I, I really don't know, By the know, way, man. that's Benji, uh, Beat. That's the guy who had the finger in his ass right there. Yeah, it was well, uh, it was Perez Hilton. Perez well, Hilton. that's that's due, man. I, I, I don't know nothing about that, but that's between well, Perez, you and the other guy. I don't want nothing to do with it. Perez Hilton is famous. So that does <laughs> I the, know he's a famous guy, but right. I don't want to know And Gary nothing. was holding me and made out with me during it. Well, that's good for you, man. Well, hey, uh, Beetle would never do something like that. I mean, uh, hey. I would never. Your ass is, for one thing, shitting, right? Shitting in your pants. So yeah. that's it. Right. It's disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, Bobby, uh, what a man you are. You are a fascinating man. Uh, this is a fascinating <laughs> career. Uh, is it worth it all in the end, Bobby, uh, managing beat? I know that it's got to be harder than your regular job, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. What's the biggest challenge to managing Beetlejuice, honestly? Uh, I mean, like I said, Howard, he hasn't been around for a while. He's, but um, just looking after him, you know, he can disappear on you at any minute. <laughs> well, what's that like? You mean, you'll lock Beetle in his basement bedroom. Not so How much when he... you're home, yeah. but when you're out. Like, you'll go out with your wife. Well, no, oh. out with him. Oh, out with he him? be out with him. He could say, I'm going to have a cigarette. Yeah. Someone will say, hey, Beat, you want to come smoke a joint? Right. He'll jump in a car with somebody. <laughs> oh, I'll, no. I'll get a call that he's in Boston. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, you 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 brought Beat to New York. Right. And you get a call hours later that Beat is in Boston. Once, yeah. That one, once, once, once it happened. Yeah. A lot of times it would happen right in Jersey, and he'd be, you know, how did he away. get? How did he get to Boston? You mean someone put him in the car someone, and took him? Yeah. Someone thought he was alone. Yeah. Started talking to him, befriended him, and before you know it, he was gone. Do you think it was wow. Dominic? This Dominic? Do you think he did it? Was that Dominic or you? No, that was Dominic. He, he <laughs> one got in the car with him. I figured. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic. Well, uh, it, someone told me that it's a fact that Beetlejuice has disappeared for as much as three days. Uh oh, who's that? The police? <laughs> <laughs> How do they deal with him down in Georgia? Yeah, I mean, beat. You cannot just go to get in someone's car and go down to Boston. Oh, no, I'd never do that. Uh, never. 
So, so what do you do? Do you call the police? Or? I would never do that. I've had to go and get him yeah. before. Uh, and, and what, people ha- call you and tell you that. that they have him? But how I, do they do that? How do you know to get him? I mean, they, oh, people call you and say, he has, hey. I always make sure in his wallet he has one of my business cards. Right. Uh, so that if he ever gets into a situation, you know, if somebody thinks enough to look for ID on him, right. he'll find that card. Right. And call me, and that's it's worked. It's worked. What about like a tag that says "I am lost" or something like that? You know what I mean? Nothing like that. It's a good you know, idea. It wouldn't be a bad idea to put like a GPS or tracking device on the beat. Yeah, maybe we need to put one of those chips in Beetlejuice. I mean, who is it? Like, who are these people who put them in the car and take them to Boston? Do you think they they wouldn't do something like that, right, Beat? I mean, I he's would on the street in New Jersey. You would never do it. Nah. No. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Yeah, you got to be careful, you know. Always being careful. That's why I don't do it that much. Where was he when he disappeared for three days? I don't know where that far. Right. Where where was he when he disappeared for three days? I I think that was when he was with Sean. I don't don't remember. Oh, I see. Not three days. Uh Uh-huh. Well. I don't do that too much. I don't do it too much. Too much. Well, (laughs) once in a while. He he behaves. He does. Yeah, he's... Well, you're a good man, Beetlejuice. Good man. Well, you can't babysit for you or anything like that. There's no value to having no. Beetle around. I remember the greatest Beetlejuice story was he disappeared. Maybe it was when your brother managed him, but he, and he came back like days later with a Howard Stern tattoo on his leg or something. Do you know that about that? That was when he was away with uh, Levy and, and the Killers. Yeah. Right, that was on the, the tour. Those guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had a tattoo. You still, you can still got that tattoo. You got multiple tattoos, right? You got many. Oh, no, I got a couple of them. Though. Yeah. Have you got oh, any recently? Any? Well, I got an original one, I'm just like this. You one? Yeah. You walk around. Let me but, see that. You know, Let me see that artwork. Original. Let me take a look because I, I'm honored, Beat, that you would walk around. It's it's, it's it's using. Oh my God! Look at the. It takes up your entire forearm, doesn't it? Yeah, Look at that. They, yeah, they did it on you. Because they had put it on my arm. They said, oh, I'll put it have to start on your arm. You, you know, I'm looking yeah. at you close up. Are you biting your nails? Are you nervous? Nah. I think you bit your nails a little nah. bit. Right? You chew on them nah. a little? Nah. Be careful. You could, uh, you could nah, just... Nah, I don't go... chew on them. No? Sure. Nah. You I nervous? get very killed on them and stuff. You, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what do you put on them? I, you very kill them. You, like... Oh, manicure. Manicure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, smart. Uh, Bobby, uh, it's really something, I I would never do that. I yeah. would never eat my nails. Never. Never. Good. <laughs> Dominic eats his nails. Dominic does. Yeah. yeah. Dominic ate Beatles nails. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he did? Oh, man. Yeah. That's crazy. That's disgusting. This Dominic is something else. But uh, anyway, listen, uh, you know, it's fascinating. Uh, I'm your manager in uh, six years now, right, as you say? Right. And uh, the stories must be incredible, and and you two make a great team. You like Bobby, right? Yeah, I like Bobby. Yeah. He's okay. Did you hey. like his brother better, he, he, Sean? Yeah. You like him better. I took care of him. He took care of me. Yeah. So, you uh, know. Well, that's it. Well, well anyway. that's how it goes, yeah. You know, I'm looking you over. i got to say, you can do a beautiful job grooming your mustache. Do you groom it yourself? Uh, or do you have Yeah, a... it grows by, by itself. But do you ever trim it? Uh... Well, we trim it just a little bit, just to just to keep up there a little clear. Who cut? I mean, he just well, well, he cut it for me. Who, so Bobby? He, yeah, he cut it down, cut the side down because my beard was growing. So. Yeah. Bobby, that's why did you let Beetle? Uh, why do you trim the beard? Bob, why not give him like a, a ZZ Top type beard? I think it'd be great. You know? Hair grow back. A little uneven. A little give uneven. Me, give me plenty more time. Hair grow back. When he came to you from Georgia this time, was the beard quite dis- uh, unkempt? Yes, it was. Uh, was it growing rather long? Uh, it was just scruffy. You know? Scruffy, yeah. yeah. So scruffy. what do you do? You just clean them up? Yeah, there was pieces of French toast. French, <laughs> you know. Yeah, piece of breakfast. Is that really true? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? You you take them, throw them in the shower, let them bathe, and then you clean them. You give him like a pretty woman makeover. Yeah, he was clean. I just cut his hair. Yeah, you you, you did shape. that hair. It's a fabulous hair. Yeah. Your hair looks great. I love Thank it. You. It's like a, mo- it's a uh, they call that a faux hawk, right? Oh, uh, they call them mohawks. A mohawk. That's the mohawk. You love that style of hairdo? Oh. Most of the time I do, yeah. You know what's nice? It's clean and neat on the sides, and you got that strip down the middle, which I like. Yeah, and your mustache, you did a beautiful job there, uh, grooming them. You look great. Better than you have in years. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I mean it. Do you have a wash beat, or does he do his own thing? <laughs> no, he takes a shower. He takes a shower. Yeah. All right, Beat. Well, that's good for you. Anything you want to add? Uh, if you want to see Beetlejuice, he's appearing at an amateur boxing match at Bayonne, New Jersey. Now... The fans will get to talk to uh, Beat. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, Leon Spinks is on the phone. He is a boxer and wants boxing advice from the great Beetlejuice. Let's uh, say hi to Leon Spinks. Yes, Leon. 
All right, I got nowhere. I had to take it myself, so I had to get by the best way I can. What do you think of that, beat? Oh, well, he's a nice guy. Yeah, have you, you ever know? watched him fight? Well, I watch him fight on TV, but I want, every day I watch him Tuesday night fight. You would? And he's always there. Did you have a uh, question? I was on gang. We, we had a job and whatnot. And I went into service and whatnot, so. So, uh. What do you say to that? Yeah, he's what do you think? A question. Well. I seen him a couple of times on there, but you know, a lot of people was asking him. The other people was like, you know, right. something things, you know, certain things that we be saying about him, you know. Well, right. well, thank you, Mr. Spinks. My friend doing pretty good outside of him. Yeah. All right. Well, you got a chance right. to speak to Beetle. He says uh, he likes you very much. So that's All right. Very nice. All right. Thank you. Yes, Jim. Go ahead. A question for Beetlejuice, and then I I, I can't hold him here forever. Uh, he's got uh, commitments. Yes, Jim. Uh, it's do you, do you remember me from uh, the bar last week? What bar? The fucking the bar that we were at. Remember, remember when you bet me eight cents that the Yankees weren't going to win that game? Do you remember any bet at a bar mm -hmm. with a guy over money? Eight cents? Mm, no, it, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't yeah. uh, Beetlejuice. No, no, no. It might have been That's Dominic. Not, no, no, no. It's not true. You bet me eight cents. It's is that the Yankees wouldn't win? Well, who and who won the bet? I did, and then he wanted to go double or nothing, so I bet him eight billion dollars, yeah. and then I won that. So Pete owes me eight billion dollars. <laughs> I, I owe you nothing. You owe him eight money. billion dollars. Me? Yeah. Well, who told you I owe you money? I ain't got no money. Yeah. What are you, you talking about? You owe me eight billion dollars. <laughs> You bet the other dude, not me. Yeah, probably that was Dominic, I would say. You he, probably saying Dominic, but Dominic probably owe you money. Does Dominic gamble too much? Is that the problem? <laughs> oh, oh, Dominic, yeah. oh, he gambled. I don't. Right. All right, let's go to Marianne from Brooklyn. Yes, Marianne. I don't gamble, man. Oh, Beto, I love you, but I'm having a very hard time, Howard. You have that, uh, you know, uh, thing on the site that I got to choose, Eric or Beto or uh, Hank, and I can't choose, Howard. I cannot choose. Beat. what do you think? Uh, well, who is your favorite whack packer? Was it Eric the actor, Beetlejuice, or, or, Hank. or Hank the angry drunken dwarf? I can. Mother of the whack pack can't can't do it. Like, well, it's a hard choice. You know, Beetle, you've had incredible appearances here. Eric had incredible phone calls, and Hank was great. It's almost impossible, and the voting seems to indicate that people are almost evenly split between the three of you. I Isn't that something? It. Well, that's something, but you know, I don't. <laughs> that they deserve it, but not me. I didn't say a word, yeah, man. But you don't think you're I the king of the whack pack? Yeah, I you think know? you know. In your own oh, mind, you must be a bit my, of. A... I say my own thing, you know. I, mm -hmm. Hey, and how it beat beat? You know, we spent a lot of time together. We we did uh, bachelor uh, bachelor parties together years ago. <laughs> Pete, are you I bored with her? I am. Too. Pete is indicating he wants me to hang up on you. Is that right, Pete? <laughs> I know. Yeah, Pete, is she a drag? <laughs> I'm just the word was you saying. You were rolling your eyes. Uh, I think you've had it. I, I'm, I'm reading between the lines. All right, Pete, nothing. she's gone. I understand. <laughs> um, I don't want uh, by the way, Pete, my mother is on the phone, wants to say hello to the great Beetlejuice. Yes, Mom. Give me your horse cock. Oh, my mother <laughs> thinks you're sexy and wants to come on to you a bit. Forgive her. She's an old woman. Go, right. go ahead. Give me your horse cock. Mom, uh, this is Beetlejuice. He's not interested in having sex with you. You're not his type. Fuck him. Well, hey. It's just you. Well, you can certainly change. You're too old. I'm trying to talk dirty. Oh, she wants to talk dirty with you. Go ahead. Say something dirty to Beat. I'm parting the hairs. She's parting the hairs on her vagina. Go ahead. Yes, Mom? Give it to me now. Uh, wait, you don't, you're not digging her? I see you're waving. You want me to hang, you want me to hang up on her? It's so definitely wrong with this time. There's something wrong with her. All right, sorry, Mom. Uh, Beat doesn't want you. Howard. Yeah. I want a baby so bad. Beetle, she wants your baby. Oh, Ain't no baby there. Beat, have you ever, uh, <laughs> have you ever gotten a woman pregnant? Have you ever gotten a woman pregnant when, I mean, you've had sex with so many women. Has it ever happened? Nah. Never. never. How, how, do you, how do you avoid that? You come inside, women, haven't you? <laughs> no? Uh, Not too much. I don't. I don't deal with things like that anymore. Yes, Todd. Quickly for Beetle, who has commitments. Yes. Oh my God! Lifetime listener, first time caller. If he's not the number one 
Whack Packer, there's something rich, it's rich. I've been laughing for the past half hour. I'm supposed to be in work right now, and I can't go in. He's hilarious. Well, be hilarious. He's a fan of yours, and I know you, you do respect. Bravo, bravo, wow. Bravo. He's coherent. So when is he coherent? Wow. And when is he not coherent? Pete, you seem to have a, a love-hate with your fans. You love them, but you hate them, too, right? Oh, I don't hate them, but I just hate Good luck to your own soul. Why you? I, I notice you again rolling your eyes. You're bored with this guy. <laughs> Be honest with this me. This guy is boring me, man. He's boring. Where's Dominic? Where's Dominic? What's Dominic? Uh, Beetle says you're boring him. What, what's Dominic? All right, thank you. Wow, wow. Beat. Some people are interesting and others are boring, and that's all I know. That's all and I you know. know how to be interesting, Beetle, right? <laughs> I just, hey, that's on them. I don't I don't listen to nobody. I just hey, I just feel the that's I don't right. listen to nobody. I just stupid, And let's go so. to Frank who says he I wants to like say you. a good morning to Beetlejuice. Yes, Frank. How you doing? How would uh how would, other than the obvious what is it maybe Bobby can answer what is it that makes Beats you know, his thinking so unclear? So when you ask him about smoking on the plane and he says he wasn't even there, so what exactly is that? Like it's fascinating. Like, I think he doesn't want to enough. get in trouble, right, Beat? You don't want to get in trouble Me? on the plane. Oh, I don't get in trouble. That's why I don't I I don't even have cigarettes. I don't even smoke, man. Have you been I ever, don't I don't do things like that. Have I you don't. ever been but Bobby you're laughing because he does smoke, right? He he does all the time. He smokes. Do you tell him not to smoke in the house? He doesn't. He wouldn't even he wouldn't, think of it. No. He wouldn't think of it. That's good. Does he ever smoke in bed? <laughs> no. no. That would be a disaster. Airplanes yeah. and outside. That's yeah. it. You know, uh, no, addiction, we were, we were talking, B, we like were talking that. about addiction, you know. Does your mother get upset when you're in her house when you start to smoke? No, we smoke outside. We smoke outside, right. She makes sure you smoke outside. Yeah. Well, that's what mothers are supposed to do. Um, let's get... Yeah, thank you, Frank. Thank um, you. Uh, Gary Delabate is on the phone. He wants to talk to Beetle. Yes, Gary? Fuck you! Whoa! Fuck Why do you, you say that to Beetle? Why are you saying that? Go fuck yourself. Beetle, do you You're know that... what's wrong here? What are you? What's your problem? Fuck you, you white asshole. <laughs> Wow, Beetle. You little piece of shit. Oh, why is well, he Beetle, Gary's maybe talking, talking to, you. to himself. Maybe, I, I mean, what do you do with a guy like this? Uh, you fucking cocksucking lying piece of shit. Talking to himself. Yeah, all right. I'm not even going to bother with this guy, right, Beetle? <laughs> this guy is a real piece of shit. You know what, Beetle? You Be are a fucking <laughs> piece of shit. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. You. Yeah, you. you piece of shit. Yeah. Shut up, asshole. Flat, flat, fuck. Go on, go on to your sister. You fat fuck. Yeah. Go over your That's sister. What, remember that time you got hit with a fish, you fat fuck? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Hey, hey. Got slapped by a fish. Beetle's my friend and he stuck up for me. Fuck you. You fucking prick. Whoa. Yeah? yeah? Tell him, Beetle. Hey, it goes the you same way back prick. to you, asshole. What? He's a fucking lunatic. I'm a lunatic. Look at you, you fat fuck. You eat poor juice and everybody else in here, you fat bastard. Are all inputs available on you? Yeah, you look like a better boo to you, fat fuck. You are a fucking I'm piece of on. shit. Yeah, you're a piece of garbage. Well, I'm not going to listen to this guy. I'm hanging up on him, all right, Pete? I now look at you and see you for the human... <laughs> <laughs> you look like a helmet asshole. Right. You look yeah, like a helmet asshole. <laughs> what? All right, fuck you. I hung up on him. Fucking guys. Yeah, all right. Last call for Beetlejuice. Let's go to Balls. He's a fan of yours. He has Balls. Hey, now. Hey, now. I love you, man, and I had a question for you. I wanted to know if you ever ate a girl's butthole. Wow. When you were with girls sexually, will you ever lick a girl's asshole? Never. 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 How uh, far will you take a beat? You'll lick her vagina, right? Never. You will lick the vagina. Nah. The, the, the pussy. I wouldn't. Nah. No? You never went down on a girl? Nah, never. Are never. you kidding me? Really? I'm shocked. Only banging them. Well, no, I don't do nothing like that. I'm would like, you ever get, on their own, so would, I don't... Would you ever kiss their neck or be romantic? Uh, kiss no, them? Never. Never kiss them? Never. Just never. sex? Just hanging out, just... Would you, ordering, would you put your finger in them? I just... Huh? Would, would you put the, your finger in the girls? No, not really. No. Bobby, is that true? I mean, do you know anything about it? He's had sex. Mm. He's plenty had sex times. plenty of times. Both oral and, and, and of course. Wow. Why is he saying he doesn't do oral on women? <laughs> I don't know. He may not want people to know. Who are you, George Clooney? You keeping everything <laughs> secret? I don't know. I'm not George Clooney. <laughs> I'm not George Clooney. <laughs> uh, whatever. All right, listen, uh, Balls, thank you. 
I guess it's uh, uh, foreplay isn't that necessary for Beetle, okay? Well, right, once well. you look at Beetle, you're, you're all done, aren't you? Is that what you're saying, Rob? You're all wet right away when you. All right, good. Yes. Would you bang Robin, or is she too much of a talker? For no, you? she's a nice people. She's a nice woman, but yeah. I don't do things and. I'm just a nice man, that's all. Right. Okay. He's a religious man nice now. Person. He's given all that up. I got to tell you, this is a change like <laughs> I would never have predicted, Beat. I guess as we get older, we do change, and we mature, and we learn. I Are you looking to get married, Beetle? Me? Nah. No way. Not no? Beetle. He'll always nah. be a bachelor. Yeah. Well, I love you, Beat. You know that. I respect you, and uh, certainly... Uh, I look forward to uh, all your appearances. Thank you for staying alive. Uh, you know, I'm, I please watch your health. Do cut uh, down on the drinking. Oh, cut down on the I'm cigarettes. I'm definitely going to do that, too. All right. Thank you. Is he drinking uh, a lot? No. No, no good. Uh, because I want you in tip-top condition, especially we with your diabetes. We want you to stay around a long time. Yeah. And, oh, uh, I definitely will. I'm definitely going to do that. And when you go out, watch Gary in the hall. He sounded pissed on that phone call. I'll tell you that. I can tell. Yeah. Your your son is on the phone. Some guy claiming to be your son. Yes, Gary. Ooh. I'm Baby Juice. Oh, you're his son. Yeah. I'm, I'm Baby Juice. <laughs> this kid claims to be Beetlejuice Jr. Let me see if this is for real. But You're saying that Beetlejuice is your father. Well, if you're going to say my name, I say my name. He does sound like you a lot, doesn't he? Beat, don't you think? Do you have a I son? I got eight so. the internet you can name. Beat, is it possible you have a son? You've had sex with a lot of women. No. Okay, I'm, my name is Beat. I want you to say your name, too. Uh, Beat, talk to this young man. Uh, what, what, what do you have to I say? I don't know, know what, what your name is. talking about. I don't know nothing what he's talking about. What did you just say to me? <laughs> what did you say about me? See what I mean? All what right. did you just say about me? <laughs> This kid sounds a lot like you. You think I almost got that joke? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, he just sounds a lot like you. All right, but you say he's not your son. Not me, no. All right, thank you, uh, Beetlejuice Jr., if that is your name, in fact. I'm not, I'm not a punk, not a pussy, not a faggot. I'm telling you like a man, straight up. All right, thank you. Nobody don't go cross me. All right, thank you. Man. Thank you. All right. There you go. Maybe that was Dominic's son? That must uh, be Dominic's son. Uh, I don't know. Pete, I think that could be your son. I mean, he sounds almost Not like mine. Didn't no. he sound like you, Beetle? Not me. All right. No, Let's go to Mike. Like Mike, you have the final word. Please uh, hurry because Beat's got a commitment. Go ahead. Oh, Beetlejuice Jr. is incredible on, the, on that last call, but how, I, I detect a difference between Southern beat and northern beat. No, I beat, I do saying. too. I agree with Mike. It, it's like since you moved down to Georgia, you kind of found yourself, you're happier. You're mellow. You're mellower. Am I right or am I wrong? No, you're right. What is Georgia? What's so great about Georgia? Well, it's just, just to get away from a lot of drug addicts and all that shit. Just yeah. to get away from all that shit. The life is fast here in New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Bobby, is there some truth in that? Does he seem happier to you in Georgia? He does. He does, yeah. He is happier. All right, uh, Sean has one last question. Yes, Sean. Hey, Beetle, I, I wish you all the luck in the world on Friday night. Ah, yes, let's get to that. All right, so, Beat, the reason you're here, you're obviously not wasting your time. You have an appearance to promote. An amateur. You're a businessman. Yeah. Yeah, and I love the way you're dressed. I love your suit. Did you buy the suit, Bobby? Did you get him that? I think we rented it and never returned it. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Is that a rental? Uh, it's true. It's true. That is true. All right, Beat will admit to that. Uh, hey, Beetle, Beetle, I'm hoping that you enter the ring with your with your theme song. Is that how you're going to enter the ring on Friday night? Beat, yeah, what, tell us about this event Friday night. How will you enter the ring? Uh, how's it going to go down? Well, I don't know. But, What's your fantasy? You know, well, I don't know, but I just, you know, I just... Sit there and watch the fight. That's mm. all. Is Beetle just quiet know. in your house when he stays over, Bobby, or does he does he talk a lot? Does he have a lot on his mind after being sequestered down in Georgia for a while? Uh, no. When, as long as he's not drinking, he's real quiet. Right. Right. Does he sometimes <coughs> raid your liquor cabinet? Oh yeah, he does. Do you lock it up? <coughs> do I beat? Does he lock uh, up the liquor cabinet? Well, I, I don't do too much. But I don't. I don't even drink that much. So. What What do you like to drink? What? Me, you... I just Beer, and that's it. Oh, is it beer that he can take? I don't drink beer. Here, he's yeah. fine. Once he gets vodka in him, 
<laughs> now, so why do you leave vodka around when? Uh, oh, you don't. You can't. But yeah. I've made the mistake. <laughs> uh, oh, it's not nobody's fault. Right. You know, you just you got to put everything in the top shelf where he can't reach. Does he drink it straight out of the bottle, or does he? No, he, he puts put, it in a cup. Yeah, a cup on ice. A mm -hmm. cup, like a Dixie cup. No, a glass. Like a glass. Look a at glass. you. I, and with he's sitting a there with man a, likes a glass. He got a cigarette and a glass of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Not on. I would, Cigar. Yeah, uh, you are. All right, Beatles old school. Be, you are a gangster, and I mean that in the, with, with respect. Do you understand what I'm saying? Always I respect for people when I'm when I'm with people. I always give them respect. I tell you, I love it. Well, I read, but do you, you childproof the house before Beaker? Did you put uh, uh, stuff in the sockets like those uh, child protectors? Yeah, doesn't so put a, a butter knife in there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I would never do that. You would never put a butter knife in the socket, right? No, no good. I would All never right. do that. Thank God. All right, listen, B, it's fun. I can't wait to find out. How will Beetle enter the ring? Do you know, Bobby? Have you kind of discussed this with uh, the event, the big event coming up? What do you mean? Do you, I mean, is there going to be some special kind of pageantry as B takes to the ring? I may bring him in to present a trophy at the end of the night. Right. Like an outstanding boxer award. Okay. Something like that. All right, something good. Okay. Well, uh, B, we'll see you at Amateur Boxing Match, Bayonne High School, uh, this Friday in Bayonne, New Jersey. Tickets available at the door, right, Pete? So everyone should come mm -hmm. see you and say hello. Right. And you'll be friendly and uh, yeah. sure. All right. Yeah. Well, there it is, Robin. Everything you I'm want to know about either. Beetle. Uh, we yeah, it's always good to catch up. Thanks for coming in, Beat. You're we're, welcome. We're going to take a break. Bobby, thank you. And uh, we'll be back right after these words. Thank you. Nobody's my father, nobody ain't my daddy, and I ain't saying 